Hashlingers, what's up? I know it's been a while since the Crypto Ming has uh, posted anything, but I thought I'd bring you up to speed on what what my latest project is. This beautiful T-slotted aluminum frame. One inch by one inch. All right. Um, it, it's. I thought it was going to be a little easier to put together than what it actually is <laughs> so far. Um, it's a little hard, you know, you get some areas in here, you've got got these little screws, got one that goes in this way and one that goes in that way and it's kind of it's kind of hard to get to them. Um, uh, there's just a little more planning involved. Wood, wood's easier by far, you can just slap it together, but um, this is definitely going to be a lot sturdier. I'm still going to use plywood. I'm going to put the plywood down, cover this bottom. That just makes it easier to easier to put the motherboard on and power supplies and it just gives me a little more flexibility with what I want to do on the bottom there. Uh, I, I was thinking I could run some some pieces across here to kind of do the same thing but you know what save save a few extra bucks and and do it that way. Uh, also my goal with this right now it's going to be set up as a regular rig uh, you know just like I have my wooden ones but I'm also ordering liquid cooling okay so this is going to eventually be a liquid cooled rig um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the cards hanging vertically uh, they with the with the liquid cooling on there the plate on there and um, it'll actually only be about a one slot width per card so I can hang all 18 cards up right in a row and um, I don't need to have a double decker for that, but uh, it'll be interesting to see see where see where I go with this. But it's definitely uh, neat looking, it's tidy, it's sturdy, and um, should be a fun project. So this is going to be part one. Stand by for the rest of them, and uh, happy hashlinging. See you guys.